Elements can be positioned in certain ways to make sure that your viewer screen is always filled with content. Because as we now know, pages in Magler have a fixed size, meaning that they do not scale up as the screen gets bigger. And that leaves us with quite the amount of remaining space when the viewer has a large screen. So let's see how we can position and align our elements to fill this remaining space. So there are three ways to align your elements in order to make them respond to either the fixed page settings or the variable screen sizes of your viewers. And by default, your elements will always be freely positioned on the seat, which means that they will stick in the designated location on the page, keeping this same absolute position across all types of screens. And if the elements placed outside of the safe zone, it will be cut off on smaller screens. And the second uh, option or screen border option overrules both page and safe zone settings as the element will align itself according to the screen of your viewer, which means that the element will position itself variably across different types of screens. So keep in mind that this alignment option could cause the element to shift on top of other or freely positioned elements. And the third and sticky option will behave in the same way as a screen border uh, overruling the, both the page and the safe zone settings and aligning themselves according to the screen of your viewers. However, these types of elements will keep their position as the viewer scrolls through, through the scene, always remaining in view. So this alignment option is therefore only available on long page scene types. So as I will preview my page now, you can see that the um, first element has been freely positioned and the second one has been positioned according to the screen border, while the third one has a sticky alignment. And as you can see, um, the, um, both the elements on the left here have been positioned differently as according to where they were on my canvas. And as I scroll down, you can see that the sticky element will remain in view and will keep its position as I scroll down the scene. So besides aligning our elements, we can also give them variable sizes. This allows us to place the element across the full width, height, or both the width and height of the screen. This will give them variable sizes, which is especially important for both images and videos, because parts of these images and videos could be cut off on different screen types. So in order to do this, we can use the auto size option, which appears under the element alignment options on the right side of the screen. So the first option, which is enabled by default, gives us the ability to determine the width and height of the element in pixels. While the second option uh, positions the element across 100% of the width of the screen. And the third option allows us to position the element across 100% of the height of the screen. Which means that the fourth and final option allows you to position the element across 100% of both the width and height of your viewer screen, covering the entire screen with the elements. So as you can imagine, both of these alignment and auto size options overrule both page and safe zone settings, resizing and positioning the elements according to the screen of your viewer. This will result in a different experience for each viewer. So you would do well to preview and test your publication on different types of screens before publishing your project live. And in the next course, we'll cover different element types and their settings.